Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about a topic that I've been studying for a while. I believe that everyone that is into Kabbalah should know about and it is the 72 sacred names of God. I was drawn to it right from the start and this is what actually drew me into Kabbalah because I'm into creating charms, I like things for good luck, I like to use things to elevate myself in meditation and uh, the cool thing about these names is that they're coded in the Bible. Now the Bible is actually has so many secrets inside and so many codes and these 72 sacred names are driven from the biggest miracle in the Bible where the sea split into half. So when Moses reached his hand and God split the sea, um, the 72 names are also created in there and I'm going to teach you of how to read it, how to extract these names. Then we're going to focus on a sacred name that is relatively popular. It's about success in business, success in abundance, getting the light of God to help you, to put you in the right track for you in your career. And I'm going to also show you how to open it up and to use it in your meditation. So if you're interested, please continue watching. All right. So the cool thing about it is that you can open your Bible at home and see the verses that these names are taken from. And of course, in English and in Hebrew, it's different. These names are written in Hebrew and the verses, each verse is made out of 72 characters. So all together, when they're written three verses, one on top of each other, we have combinations of three letters and there are 72 all together, but we need to do it in a specific way. So if you want to follow and if you just want to mark it in your uh, Bible, these are really three great verses. So. We're in Exodus, Exodus chapter 14, verses 19 till 21. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud moved in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel, and so the cloud was there with the darkness, and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land. All right, so now if you take the three verses in Hebrew and what we're doing, we're writing the first verse straight, the second verse opposite way, we're flipping it like a mirror, and then the third verse again straight. So this is a method of straight, opposite, straight. And like you can see, when we combine all of these together and read them from top to bottom starting from right to left because that's how we read hebrew we start getting all these names and just a cool fact that 72 times 3 equals 216 and that is the value of Gvua, the third pillar in the tree of life and this shows of the power these uh, 72 sacred names have to handle everything. Okay, so I want to focus with you on this name. It doesn't matter if you know Hebrew or not, um, because this name does not actually mean anything. Like even me, I speak Hebrew, this does not have a meaning. It's only a vibration made out of these three very important letters. So if you followed my video about the uh, meaning of letters, you would know that every letter has deep meaning and com combined together they create a vibration. This is name number 45 in the 72 sacred names. The letters are Samech, Aleph, and Lamed. And just by judging the characters, I want you to notice and why this is connected to success. Like even in English, the word success, you, you hear the s business. There are a lot of S when it comes to a work world, right? The, the business world, the comrades. And also in Hebrew, this letter, this circle uh, implies that you want that circle in your life to circulate in a way that you get the money, you get the pleasure that your business gives you the right kind of flow that you are seeking. Now, then we have Aleph. Aleph, um, is the first name and this is God's uh, letter 
and you see here it's kind of a mirror we have the upper and the lower this combine this represents the upper world and this represents the lower world and then we have a line splitting uh, both of them but there it's not actually splitting it's bringing both of them together so this is a letter of manifestation this is equivalent to the magician in tarot so bringing all the four elements together we have an idea we have the means to do it we have the energy to do it it is connected to our soul it is connected to our purpose so aleph is a really 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 great uh, letter for manifesting anything properly so we have the manifestation letter combined with a letter that implies on a business on a cycle on something that is connected to money and then we have the letter Lamed, which is the only letter in the alphabet that goes up, that reaches the sky. And this is a letter that is good for anything to do with studying, growing, uh, using language. So all together, this also gives another take on the two letters before. And this says that, yes, our business will be successful. We can manifest, but we are also learning and growing in the process because that's our purpose, right? We are here on earth to grow and evolve. And this combination of letters really can help us to achieve that and to clean any unwanted influences. For example, sometimes we do things from the ego. We copy other people. We think that if I have that and if I can impress other people, then I will be happier, then I will be successful. But this name helps us come back to our source, to the fact that God will send us our abundance that is connected to our personal mission. Now, the way to open this name, and it's not only, I mean, yeah, you can just meditate on it as is, but one of the secrets in Kabbalah is to actually plant the uh, letters of God. Okay, so this is uh, Jehovah. I'm not really supposed to say the name in Hebrew, but you can see how I do it. So basically what you're doing when you're meditating, you're imagining these letters that come in between the name and opening it up and bringing the divine energy to the names. These letters are relatively popular in our everyday life some names even have these letters so for example my name starts with this little letter here and it also implies on your ability to connect to spirituality or the divine presence in your name or in your life well it is present in everybody's life but maybe a little more amplified with the people that carry these uh divine letters in their name um and that's what you're doing you're sitting and meditating on this together and slowly the vibration of samech uh, alef um, will enter your life so this is something that you can do anytime you want you can use it how how much you want in any situation this has um, true healing and purifying ability then you can just try for yourself and you can see you can write it in a charm when you make a charm for yourself for success or uh, in your notebook wherever in front of you on your desk i highly recommend it now a few other interesting uh, details about this name uh, every sacred name is associated to a verse from psalms and i have uh, psalms here in hebrew this my dad gave me this uh, it's it's awesome so this specific name is associated to psalm chapter 94 18 i'm going to read it in hebrew because i don't have psalms in english and maybe it's just good to hear it no matter what this verse basically talks about the fact that sometimes we feel that maybe we are in the wrong place for us and we think that that's it we're doomed but God is always with us and he will take us out from wherever situation we are at and we will, he will put us in the right direction and we only need to ask for it and seek it and, and it's going to be there. So every sacred name is also associated to a tarot card and that's also a big secret. But um, this name is associated to the Nine of Cups. And as we know, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilled, it's success, it's also emotional success. So this is connected to uh, Jupiter and Pisces. So 
Um, the biggest planet, the magnifier, um, gives a lot of abundance through also a spiritual path, something that is right for us spiritually. And as you see here, he kind of is in the position of, I made it, I did it, I'm proud of it. So this is also about um, doing work that we are proud of, that we worked for it. It's not only granted from the sky, but we did it in a way that we feel good about it. I also want to show another association with tarot, and this is about the letters themselves. So Samech is associated with the devil. Now, we all know that everything in the world has two polarities, and the devil is not a bad um, card at all. But I'm just showing it to you because it's associated with Capricorn, and Capricorn is the sign of work and building a hierarchy and in the in a way I, the devil shows us a bond and um this is a cycle we want to create that will work for us in our lives then aleph is associated with the magician you see him manifesting he's actually kind of similar to the letter itself and this is the greatest manifester and then we have lamed which is the hanged man so this is the card, the shamanic card, the card of um, being introspective, uh, studying, taking time off to uh, figure out what's going on, but also there is um, a resemblance in how it looks. So I hope you like this video. I hope you use this name and I just wanted to give you a link to understand these names and you know, each person uses different things in different times. There are even names for better night's sleep. There are names for great partnership, for healing, for getting over addictions, for forgiveness, all sorts of stuff. So I just uh, wanted to introduce you. There's a lot of information on it online. I'm going to post also stuff on my website. And if you're interested, leave me a comment. I can teach you more on other sacred names. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.